Hey Kevin, Braden with Arrowhead Boat Sales, about to do your walk around video of the 2009 Harris Grand Mariner 250 SEL with the Mercruiser 350 mag 300 horsepower inboard engine. Let's see the tunes look to be in good shape. Here's kind of the underskinning. Looks like there might be a little bit of a small ding right here on the bottom of that tune. Ding on the flap up top. There's a little bit of a ding right here under the Harris, nothing major. Got some scratches probably from a dock on this rail here. bit of chip in the graphic there's our ladder there's our lower unit there's our propellers no dings it's in good shape this gag plate looks good Thing looks good. Just walk around the other side real quick. You can see something on the dock. Got it right here just a little bit. Keep in mind the boat's been sitting outside and we haven't cleaned the exterior in any way. Alright, let's hop up in it. Alright. So on the back, I notice this little upholstery spot here. The cushion looks good, but the uh, top vinyl is gone. That might need to be replaced. Also in the back, got a transom remote, some cup holders, got the flag. So I'm having my guy put us in the lake right now so we can run the thing. Extra cup holders. Got the flip-flop lounger here. Oops. Nice big bed area table. All the interiors in really good condition. There's our helm seat. I think you'll notice the cushion on this side has shifted just a little bit. Aside from that looks really good. There's our instrument cluster. Some little tears right here. And a little glove box. Under this back right cushion, you'll find our battery switch with jump stop if you need it. There's our engine hatch controller, which I'll pull that up here in a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. Go. All right, so I've removed this middle cushion. There's a little strap on each side here. This is gonna flip up. And underneath you have your changing room area. It's quite a pain in the butt to uh, put that thing back together, but uh, it is there. You can see it all put back together. That cushion I was telling you about, those handles. That storage. Underneath every seat, there's our Bimini boot. Sorry for the Razorback buoy. I'm sure you're maybe a Wildcats fan. <laughs> Give me just a second here. I'm going to get us away from the dock. Oh. All right. Gears are shifting smooth. Trim gauge is working. Hear me trimming, maybe. Got our depth gauge over here. Everything is functioning as it should. There are hours. 175. Sorry, my camera keeps losing focus here. I don't know what's going on. Kevin, would you mind driving us here so I can film the rest of the boat? Go ahead and just take us out and break Creek Cove here. We've got some nice throw pillows. Every seat cushion on a hinge. Some 
jackets in here. I'm sure the guy's going to keep these. We'll probably get these out. And you've got nice little lounger seats. Look really good. So here's the lounger chair with the extended legs. I just reached under there and grabbed it. It stows very easily. If you like it, you'll notice a little bit of the ding right here on the inside of this panel. Or they may have set something there that scratched it up. Front deck area. Everything looks really good. Little Captain Kevin there. Fire extinguisher. Trash can holder. Another head unit. Got some storage in here. Nice storage doors here. Bimini top looks good. Now we're gonna run her. Ease into it. per hour gauge isn't working but I'll get our GPS speed up so we can see how fast we're going. Alright last but not least we've got our motor. Blower hose is intact. Kids, I can see out of the boots or anything. A little bit of water down in the village, but it has uh, rained a lot today. Looks good. Just gonna rev it up here in neutral so you can hear it. Just waiting to uh, load the boat on the trailer here and ooh, somebody's trailer brakes don't sound good. Yeah. Um wanted to make sure I showed you the stereo. Duck, she's ready for Kentucky. Mr. Kevin, thank you, sir. Braden again with Arrowhead, and uh, look forward to getting this boat delivered to you and your family, man. Appreciate you.